league. Well, it's a breezy night here at the Jalambasar Stadium. And uh, there is your lineup as well with Jamil up front for him. Very happy to welcome back the talents of Park Kang Jin. Their striker returns the same Kang Sohin in goal. Kim Yong Soo and Park Ji Ho. When you saw that look on Kang Sun Ho, the goalkeeper's face, <laughs> and he was just completely rooted to the ground. And here, Mostaba on the break. Couldn't quite get through. He's trying to get past his man. Was it a pull in the box? Wow, that is the first contentious decision, and the assistant referee has pointed to the penalty. The referee didn't look too interested, but the assistant referee got his flag up. And, well, have we got a smash and grab on our hands here? The Super Reds players surrounding the assistant referee. It's certainly a case, isn't it? Well, I did see, you can see in the, in the, in the replay that Park Kyo Hyung got his arms around Moshi and but even though the referee Zaid Hussein did not think of it, he looked at his linesman in Tang Yuman here on this side who had his flag straight up conceding that it was a penalty and well, the referee has given it. And Daniel Hammond, who's stepping up to probably take it, is one player who has got a couple of goals for the young Lions from the spot. And this is the man in the middle right now who's made the controversial decision to raise the flag for that chance for Willis to take the lead. Well, I have to say, I've seen some 50-50 decisions and that could have gone either way, really. But I think what probably got the referees, uh, what got Tang Yuman, the assistant referee here on this side, to raise his flag was the fact that Park Chil Hyung had his arms yeah. all over Moshi. And when you do that in the penalty box, Moshi had every opportunity to go down. Well, I tell you what, this will be a remarkable turnaround if they can put this in. Daniel Hammond waiting. Park Chil Ho. Can't stop it, and it's a goal. Would you believe it? Brooklyn's Wellington have taken the lead. And the fans that have come down to see it are thrilled. And the penalty has to be retaken again. Well, real drama here. Hammond doesn't know yet. He has to go back. He's got a wry grin in his face. And I think players have approached the box before the penalty was taken. Well, there's a drama here all the way, the way the penalty was conceded and now the fact that it's got to be retaken. Well, Daniel Hammond, what, which way will he go? Same way. And it's a wonderful penalty from it. He went a different way this time, but it's the same result. And it will stand this time. And 1-0 to Woodlands is the score. Barely deserving it, but you've got to take your top opportunities, and that is where Super Reds have come unstuck tonight. Still plenty of time in this game for them. It was well taken, too high for the keeper. He's not the biggest of keepers either. Kang Su Ho. Well, credit for the penalty must go to Moshtaba Moshi, as it's called, for being. Sticking it all the way. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Finding Kamal Nasir, and he's done well here. Ding the ball past Sin. He's got a chance. Is he being handled? Well, I'm just wondering whether he should have stayed on his feet. That's a red card because he's the last man. And Sin, the substitute, is off. That's well, a good decision there by the referee. That was in. knew what he wanted to do. He was the last man, and. Uh, Shin Dae Kyung cannot protest against that decision. He looks Come a bit shell shocked, doesn't he? Well, <laughs> that's what happens when you actually drag a man down and if you're the last defender. Well, in the midst of all this, it looks like Woodlands are going to make their final change. Just waiting for that, perhaps. Holding back. Interesting dilemma there for. Well, Nian, who was pushed, wasn't he? I, I had a feeling that he had looked for that, but he was given quite a shove, and he was through on goal. Unnecessary, perhaps. Well, Shin actually first got into trouble by pulling, there you go, by pulling, by pulling Kamal's shirt, and that was the first offence, and the second offence was to shove him down to the ground in that manner, knowing that he was the last defender. And then they've got a gunbuck next. <laughs> well, Doesn't get harder than that, does it? <laughs> 
Well, it's good that you know they know that you're going to have a couple of difficult matches, and they've come into this match with the right frame of mind and about to take all three points from it. And uh, surely beating two sides that are really high up in the league, it will give them a lot of confidence against uh, SAF of and Gombak. But what about uh, Super Reds? They're up against the cellar dwellers, Ballester Kalsa. And I assume we're going to see a similar sort of game uh, in that match. Oh, we're clear. Ballester Kalsa with just uh, one win, a yellow card for the histrionics of Yu Hyun Koo, the captain, not really leading by example there. So Super Reds have to turn it around again. They're away to Balasir, but Balasir just a one win all season. They're then up against Senkang Ponko, who are also near the bottom. And finally, on the 2nd of July, they will play Tampanis Rovers. This is going to be a harder game, because Tampanis are near them in the league. Again, plenty of action and another corner. Less than a minute left of this Yo's Great Eastern S League match. John can barely contain himself. He wishes he was up there right now, helping his team. The striker. Rizal with a solid catch. And that is the final bit of action in this game. Woodlands have done the proverbial smash and grab. They've absolutely had their backs to the wall. I've used that phrase enough times in this match because that's exactly what it's been for them. But for my money, Rizal Hassan has earned the man of the match as far as I'm concerned, Jose. He has done really well for his team. Kept them in the game when needed to. Kept them all the way. And it was a great day for Rizal Hassan at the work, at the workplace. And you're right, he kept them in the game. And as you can tell, right to the death. There he was with a wonderful stop. No problems with those balls across the goal. This was... Probably the best effort for Woodlands Wellington. The ball just screwing wide. And then Mostaba forcing his way through, drawing the foul with the hand coming across him. And in the end, the referee made that decision to send him off. The penalty had to be taken twice, but no mistake, either occasion for Daniel Hammond. And then there was quite a storm for them to face. There's a man who must take many of the plaudits tonight, Rizal Hassan. Rolling back those years, and I can see a nostalgic grin on the face of my fellow commentator here. Fantastic day for Rizal Hassan at work, and uh, had one of those days, you know, Rizal. Let, let, let's face it, though, he only had to make three outright saves, and the rest of the time he was called into action with balls coming across him. So Super Reds must take a long, hard look at themselves. Once again, their striker's profligate in front of goal. There's one of the saves he had to make. But this has been the story of their season. And it's a two-game streak at the moment for Woodlands Wellington. And there he is, showing that real fire in the belly. Nasser. Kamal Nasser almost uh, having a chance there. A red card being shown to Shin. And interestingly, there wasn't a card for Park for pulling down there. Mostaba. But the man of the match goes to Ismadi Mukhtar. Well, we don't get to adjudicate. And in the end, a wonderful performance from Woodlands Wellington. Sometimes you've just got to stand back and defend, and, and they've deserved it, haven't they? I think they probably just did your smash and grab, like you said, the soak and attack, and, well, if you don't take your chances in any game, you don't win, and Woodlands did that tonight. They took one chance, and they got the three points. Well, the fans are staying back for their team, really happy about that, and they can go with their heads held high. It's been a fantastic time. We hope you've enjoyed this Yo's Great Eastern Ethnic match. The final score in the Jalamasa Stadium is Woodlands Wellington 1, Super Reds 0. From Rian and Jose Raymond, thanks a lot for joining us.